but there is indeed a big male giraffe not a particularly large one he's not the biggest that I've seen before but he's taller than the females that we've been seeing and he is just munching on a buffalo thorn this afternoon which is quite lovely maybe he'll be kind enough to go and have a drink look at that lovely light falling on his face and they really are beautiful creatures giraffe I can definitely see why when people come on safari it's one of the most iconic animals that they want to see I think I have more people asking me to see giraffe than I do lions and especially in big herds there's nothing quite special and I've spoken often of the big herds of giraffe that I I'm familiar with uh, down on the southeast coast of South Africa where it was really really special you'd see at least 30 giraffe together no problem little ones big ones and you could get relatively close to them we habituated them quite well on foot they were always quite curious and of course that just happens with intentionally doing approaches constantly with those animals and building a trust making them realize that you of course are not out here to hurt them look at him how he's completely stripping the leaves off of that buffalo thorn so it just shows you that the huck and stick the straight thorn and the curved thorn that you see on the buffalo thorn really doesn't have too much uh, effect on a big male giraffe like this or elephants really they're able to strip those leaves and that's what he's doing he's actually using his tongue you see that and then pulling back like oh now he's just nibbling I can't believe that he's not getting pricked and those thorns are sharp and once you get latched onto one of those it's almost impossible to get yourself off again I've ripped many items of clothing trying to get loose off of a knob thorn or a buffalo thorn look at that that is just absolutely amazing how he does that now he doesn't look like he's been in very many fights he's got many scars on his legs he's not too dark in terms of coloration so he could just be coming into his prime of his life at the moment he's slowly starting to go dark look at that it is absolutely unbelievable if I had to go and put my hand around a branch like that and pull I'd have massive cuts I'd be bleeding from every spit of area on my hand really but of course remember they've got hard and well, their mouths are quite robust so they're able to feed on thorny vegetation and they're specialists there's very very little animals that are specialists in feeding on thorny vegetation red fire queen are you wondering uh, you've read somewhere that giraffe rarely sleep and you're wondering if that's true or not and most of the animals out here actually don't sleep very much can you believe it barring the cats the lions and the leopards sleeping the most and even hyenas snooze quite a bit however when you're a herbivore you're not really using much energy you're not chasing after your food the food is pretty much well right down at your feet or in the giraffe's case, case at eye level and and it's okay you know that I think for instance something like a ruminant which a giraffe is so from a buffalo to an impala to a wildebeest to a kudu I think the most energy that they're using is probably digesting their food and making sure that they do uh, regurgitate the cud and reach it and then of course swallow it other than that they move around pretty slowly unless they're being chased by an animal then yes then they're utilizing quite a, a substantial amount of energy but they're able to replenish that so for instance giraffe you'll sometimes see youngsters during the day particularly youngsters and I've seen in the Eastern Cape big males and females on exceptionally windy days actually sitting down in the long grass just relaxing again digesting their food ruminating and then at night I also see them sitting down quite a bit but it's not normally for a very long time most of their day is spent feeding so it's just for a couple of hours a day and then again they don't sleep like the lions and leopards sleep because if a giraffe were to completely lay down and and go into a very very deep sleep it's of course vulnerable to a variety of different types of predators and that's the biggest problem is it's a safety matter it's it's very very dangerous to have a good siesta but you see young animals doing it all the time but they've got the adults to of course watch out for them but even even so they have to just be careful isn't that cool though 